Welcome to our introduction to this video course on Visual Studio. First, if you don't have Microsoft's Visual Studio yet, go to Microsoft's website, choose All Products, and then All Products again. Now scroll down to Developer Tools. From this page, you'll need to download one of the versions of Visual Studio 2008. Secondly, let me say a few general words about learning a programming language. It's actually a lot like learning a real language. It takes commitment, and there is that catch-22 of where, in order to use the language, you need to know some syntax, some rules, some vocabulary, but you also just simply need to practice the language in order to learn these tools. What I'm saying, in a nutshell, is that don't worry if you don't understand a concept right away. It will eventually sink in, and it's just a matter of trial and error, and simple practice, of course. So just stick with it, and trust me, you'll get there eventually. Another question that often comes up, what's the best learning tool that I can use? Today, there is an abundance of information and teaching resources for you. You'll find no shortage of helpful forums, books, videos, etc. Let's begin with a very important Visual Studio resource, the help files and the manual. In fact, old programmers refer to this with an acronym RTFM, read the FN manual. You won't be disappointed with Visual Studio 2008's help files. They're full of terrific examples, details, models, descriptions, etc. Another important modern abbreviation is STFW, Search the Bleepin' Web. Today, the Internet is full of excellent help forums where you can ask specific questions and get specific answers. Don't forget to take advantage of MSDN.com, the Microsoft Developer Network. And don't forget about your local bookstores as well. Now, you don't need to run around and spend a lot of money on learning resources. In fact, too many learning resources might make you more confused. The most important